Okay, right, it's been a while since I've made a video about the Android, so there's a lot of people having trouble upgrading uh, the firmware. Uh, this is just a simple wee Android uh, 7 inch. Uh, it comes under the VIA um, WM, what is it again, 8650, I think, uh, Wonder Media. So we'll just switch it on. Okay, let that boot up. Now, the, the, the last version of the firmware I gave you was this one here. It's still on my actual uh, tablet. 2.22632 and V131. Now, a lot of people get problems with this. Um, not connecting to Wi-Fi. Uh, disconnecting from the Wi-Fi and a lot of people can't get the screens to work properly I posted a wee fix for that but it's not helping everybody uh, there's also some reports that when you go to the the Google App Store uh, Google Market it's not it's loading up the the applications but you can't access them I think this is due to it connects to like a, a third party website in China before it goes back to Google and some people can't get the YouTube applications to work neither. Uh, so I've actually put the software back in again, flashed it to save me some time and I just went and dropped my stylus. Hang on a minute. <laughs> right. Okay, so that is back to its basic settings. Um, I mean, what is that again? It's Shenzhen, China. Um, now everything works on this, apart from a few things. Uh, so this is the way your tablet should be if you installed my last um, my last instructions okay but maybe you're having some difficulty so what we're going to do is we're going to scrap this uh, firmware and go for a different one now right so you can try this one and you just do it the same way you put it on your SD card right so let's go to the screen now go to your, your PC now this is how you do it. Now you download the, the, the file I've provided on the link ne next to this video. And don't tell me that you can't see the file. If you look at the video description, uh, click on show more and you should see it. Just download that. Now you want to extract the file using WinRAR. Now once you've done that with WinRAR, you'll get um, to the page. Christ, it's like, hang on a minute, put this table out of the road. So, this is what you'll get. You'll get a directory like this. That's where all the folders have extracted today. Okay? Now what, what you want to do is, you want to go to where it says changer. Now this is a, a Windows batch file, okay, which means you double click it, double click the batch file and it shall open your command, command prompt. And there is all the configurations you need to see. There's all the different um, tablets listed there, whatever one you may have. See? Now the one we're looking for is number 11. It's the VIA. It's the WM8650. This is the Wonder Media 7 inch. Okay? So don't pick any of the other ones. Now, before you pick the number of the device, what you want to do is put that in. Can you see what I've typed? I 
Titan RT3070. Okay, that's the first thing that you type. RT3070. Now what that does is, it enables the Wi-Fi. So if you don't type this in, your Wi-Fi will not work. So hit that in and press enter. Now watch. Okay, can you see what it says now? Alright. That's enabled the Wi-Fi. Now, are you ready to put the number in? Put 11 in. Now watch. 1, 1. And again, press the enter button. Okay. Now you're going to get asked a few questions here. Do you want to copy Uberoid to an ST drive? Type in. Yes. Okay. Please choose the ST card drive letter. And it's in drive H. Press enter. And I'll start copying all the files onto your SD card. Once it's finished doing this, just remove it. And then we're going to put it into the tablet. And switch the tablet on. And it'll install the firmware. Dead easy. This might be a simpler way to do it, rather than uh, hacking at the, the actual install, like we did last time. Okay, any key to continue? Right, that's it done. Now I've got in my SD card, which is in drive H. And as you can see, I now have this on drive H. This is the SD card. You should have, well, one file and one folder. You're going to put this into your tablet. There you go, that's all your install files. Okay. What you want to do now then, is remove this like so I'm only working with one hand here now that's an adapter take the mini bugger out of this with one hand it's kinda hard hang on right can you see that that's the wee chip there, 256 megabyte chip, which is more than enough. I'm going to put this into the tablet now. Like so, keep watching, because I'm not doing any edits. First things first, I'm going to switch this off. Power off. Okay. Right. Now find the SD slot. Ah, I could be doing an extra pair of hands to hold this camera. Right. Uh, get your SD chip. Put the light on here. 
Let it sit up there. Okay, we're going to stick this. See it? No tricks. Micro SD, right? That goes in there. that and take clicks. Okay, that's it in, right? Now watch this. Now with the SD card still in uh, the tablet, you want to switch it on. Hold down the on button. Okay, it should now boot up. And start flashing. There we go. W A six five O Uberoid two point two upgrade preparing, please wait. So just wait. Make sure your battery's fully charged. It's probably better to have it plugged into the mains as well. And don't remove the SD card until you're told to. Almost there. See, I didn't want to edit this video in any way. I want you to see exactly how it's done. Because it's dead easy. And if your tablet still doesn't work, um, maybe it's not, maybe there's something else up with it. But, um, this one should do it. Just make sure, you know, basically you put in uh, to enable the Wi-Fi before you start off with and then select your device number. And remember it's number 11 for these type of pads. Now the software that comes with this one, it's, uh, it's a lighter version and it should run a bit better. Angry Birds and everything is already pre going to be pre-installed. Um, Google Market will be pre-installed. Uh, you'll have YouTube on it as well, that's all pre-installed and everything should work.
Okay, please remove the SD. Can you see that? So what we do now is don't switch anything off. Wherever your SD card is, at the top here, what we're going to do is just press on it and it should pop out. Like so. Just push in there. And I've not got much nails here, but. Ah, right. I think I might get a tripod next time. Just push the bugger in. Right, done. It should boot up now. The light back on. There's your version 2.22632 and 1.5. Five, it's higher version from last time. Don't lose your memory chip because mine is still hanging out the side here. It's okay, it's not going anywhere. Right, Uberoid.